Hi, I'm Dr. Scott Lee, an electrophysiologist who specializes in atrial fibrillation and stroke prevention. Today we're diving into a hot topic I get asked about continuously. Can natural blood thinners like nanokinase, turmeric, or fish oil really replace pharmaceutical blood thinners like Eliquis, Xarelto, or Prodaxa? In this video, we're going to talk about what natural blood thinners actually do, the science behind natokinase and other supplements that people hear about, whether they can truly prevent clots or strokes, especially in people with atrial fibrillation, and what risks you need to be aware of before trying them. So let's start with the basics. When people say blood thinners, they're usually referring to medications that reduce the risk of blood clots, particularly in the heart, brain, or lungs. But blood thinners don't actually thin your blood. They work by interfering with your body's ability to form clots, either by targeting platelets, like aspirin, or by interfering with the coagulation cascade, like warfarin, Eliquis, or Xarelto. See, different blood thinners work on different clotting factors, and the body has more than one clotting factor. So these medications are prescribed when the risk of a clot and potentially life-threatening strokes outweighs the risk of bleeding. This is especially relevant in atrial fibrillation, where blood can stagnate in the left atrial appendage and the left atrium and form clots that may travel to the brain. Now, can natural substances do the same thing? Let's talk about the most popular one, natokinase. Natokinase is an enzyme extracted from natto, a fermented soybean dish popular in Japan. It's marketed as a natural blood thinner because it has fibrinolytic properties. That means it can help break down fibrin, the protein involved in blood clot formation. Some animal and lab studies have shown that natokinase can inhibit platelet aggregation, improve circulation, decrease blood pressure slightly, and increase the body's ability to dissolve small clots. That sounds very promising, right? Here's the problem. There are no large, randomized, placebo-controlled human trials showing that natokinase prevents strokes or blood clots in patients with atrial fibrillation or other clotting disorders. In fact, most of the studies are small, short-term, and done in healthy people, not high-risk patients. So that means there's no real proven benefit, and relying on natokinase instead of a prescription anticoagulant could be dangerous. So let's break down some other common supplements people refer to as, quote, natural blood thinners. Turmeric, or curcumin. This has mild anti-inflammatory and anti platelet effects in test tubes, but no evidence it actually prevents clots in high-risk patients like atrial fibrillation. What about fish oil, like the omega-3s? Well, these may reduce triglycerides and have a mild anti-platelet effect, but large studies like the Reduce It and strength trials showed mixed results and did not study aphid-related clot prevention. What about garlic and ginger? These may inhibit platelet aggregation slightly, but again, no clinical trials showed that they prevent strokes or systemic embolism. So what's the bottom line? All of these may have modest effects on platelet function or inflammation, but they are not true anticoagulants that have been studied in large trials to prove that they work, and they don't currently replace prescription therapy. So here's the tough truth. Many patients are afraid of prescription blood thinners because of the risk of bleeding. That's very understandable, but avoiding them in favor of, quote, natural option, like natokinase can put you at even greater risk, especially in conditions like atrial fibrillation, where the clot risk is silent but deadly. I've had patients come to me after a disabling stroke, and when we dig into it, they were only taking natural supplements, not real anticoagulants. And by the time the stroke happened, it was too late. So if you're considering stopping or avoiding a prescribed blood thinner, talk to a cardiologist or a cardiac electrophysiologist who can assess your true stroke risk and walk you through all your options, including non-drug options, like a left atrial appendage closure device, like a watch, which has its own pros and cons. Or you can go to my website, drscottlee.com, that actually has a quiz to assess your stroke risk based on your age and risk factor. So, do natural blood thinners work? Natokinase and others may have biologic effects, but they are 
not proven, not regulated, and not equivalent to prescription anticoagulants. They may play a supportive role, but they are not substitutes, especially for high-risk patients with atrial fibrillation. If you're looking for safer options or more personalized guidance, I offer in-depth second opinion consults to help people understand their stroke risk and tailor a plan that makes sense. You can find more information at the link in the description. Thanks for watching, and remember, when it comes to stroke prevention, don't roll the dice on your life. For everything atrial fibrillation related, please feel free to go to my website, drscottlee.com, where you're going to find more resources and also can follow me on social media.